So let's practice this limit question involving uh, the x approaching 1. We're approaching a hole. But what's interesting about this question is we have another hole that's kind of filled in above it. What is the limit as x approaches 1 of this uh, nice hyperbola? Well, as x approaches 1, we're coming in from the left, approaching this number here, which is negative 3. And the word limit means we're approaching also from the right-hand side, which is also going to be negative 3. So the answer is negative 3. So regardless of the point uh, being filled in above it, we're not going to say the limit's negative 1. This is uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. The answer is actually negative 3 because we're coming pretty darn close to the um, 1, but not we're not quite actually equals to 1. So just as a good refresher, it's nice to refresh what this um, rational function actually is. Well, let's just uh, practice so this piecewise function. This looks like a transformation of the uh, 1 over x graph. If I say f of x equals 1 over x, but at the same time, we know it's transformed. The center got moved to the left. It also uh, moved to, uh, down two units as well. So we're not quite sure what the transformation is, so we'll, we'll leave the a here. The a, the a value here is the what we're multiplying the function by in order to uh, stretch it uh, vertically. Plus, we recognize there's going to be a flip. So we're expecting a to be negative. So let's just uh, practice this um, function here. We're going to assume the function is y is equals to 1 left, 2 down. So it's going to be 1 left would be x plus 1. We're just practicing function transformations now. And 2 down would be minus 2. We're not sure what a is. But what coordinate do we know for sure goes through this function? It's going to be this one here, the hole, the solid, the, this little hollow hole, which is going to be 1, comma, negative 3. 1, comma, negative 3 is supposed to theoretically go through this curve. So when we're, you're not sure what the actual function is, let's substitute x and y. x here is 1, and y here is negative 3. So negative 3 is equal to a. 1 plus 1 minus 2. So this becomes a 2. We're going to throw the 2 over, so negative 3 plus 2 is going to be negative 1. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. So now we have it. We have the actual a value. So we're going to say that this function kind of looks very similar to the shape. y is equals to negative 2 x plus 1 minus 2. So that's the actual full version of this nice hyperbola. Now unfortunately, there's a hole here. So we're going to say comma, x does not equal to 1. So that's part of this piecewise function. So we're going to put a nice little piecewise curly brace there. Now in the case where x is equal to 1, we know that we're going to have a dot way up here, which is going to be at negative 1. So the y value is going to be negative 1 particularly at x equals 1. So this is just a nice refresher of how piecewise works with rational functions.